So Tape Stop allows you to experiment with mechanical audio formats like tape, of course, and vinyl. So just like putting a finger on the vinyl or on the tape reel, playback is able to be slowed or sped up. So why not dive into Tape Stop and, and the various parameters? Guys, winning with blends, let's go. Firstly, here's a sample I've got, and it's really on a vocal track, you know, and, and let's, let's just do, watch that, watch that. Watch that, watch that, right there, right there, already sick. Okay, craziness. Let's dive in and understand exactly what all of these parameters do. So you have the start time, you have sync, you have warp, of course the play button, and of course the stop time, plus these, these uh, sliders over here to the left and the right. Okay, so first things first, start time. What exactly start time? It kind of is exactly what it says it is, all right? Uh, it is when, you know, the slider to the left of this left tape reel allows you to adjust the time it takes for playback to start. When sync is engaged, you can see that for both the stop time and the start time, the time is engaged, uh, measured in tempo units. So beats, bars, notes. As you see, I can adjust this to X amount of beats. I can adjust this to, let's go down to X amount of beats and up to X amount of beats as you see, right? So that is one way to deal with it. Of course, if you have sync off, you're going to be dealing with milliseconds. Now guys, I wanna say one thing very quickly. As long as your actual song, your project is playing, the tape stop function can work. If your song is not playing, then the tape stop does nothing. That's simply because tape stop acts on real time audio. So let's get this thing playing, all right? and let's continue on okay so we already just talked about start time very simple you adjust this these parameters this one right here the slider to adjust how long it takes to start so why don't we zoom out and let me actually maybe maybe i will loop this section here okay let's just loop this section here uh let's just loop this part okay now watch this Ooh. look how long it's taking to start 4.5 seconds to start up okay Let's adjust this so it's a little shorter, so it starts a lot, a lot faster, okay? But it will take a long time to slow down. Check it out. Ooh, okay, let's keep it going, okay? So let's look at sync. Now again, if you switch sync to the left, which means it's off or it's disengaged, it, and, um, what you're gonna do is, again, you're gonna be adjusting the start and stop times in milliseconds. Whereas if you click it on, you're going to be adjusting the start and stop times in tempo units, essentially. Now, of course, you press play, you activate play as it is right now to, uh, to essentially engage the start time and you deselect play to engage the stop time. Okay, pretty simple stuff. Guys, remember, audio will be muted on the track if this is off so as you see right here we got this track playing right here okay there's nothing playing even though there's audio there there's nothing playing because the play head within or the play um button within the tape stop is not engaged let's engage it let's actually bring this down so that it starts really really quickly and let's adjust that so it starts late or so it stops late watch this cool so now let's move on to warp before we head over to the stop time. Now warp is a little interesting. So what you get here is that warp helps to change the start and stop inertia. So, you know, when things are in motion or when things are at rest, they may continue to be at rest or continue to be in motion. So simply put, when you adjust the slope of the warp, what you're doing is you are decelerating or you are accelerating the start effect okay so again or the slow or the start or stop effect right so for example i've got this one set all the way to the left as you see this curve is pretty harsh right it's it's decelerating it's it's not really so essentially this is when you get quicker initial changes so watch this let me stop and let me press play let me drop this down a bit and watch how quickly it goes up okay watch as a matter of fact it might be easier if i go straight to the to the to the master channel. Watch this. Let me take this off and let's go to the master channel so we can get a little bit better. Watch this. That's the master, okay? Watch. It, w w look how quickly it actually gets to that point. Watch when I stop it, it's quick. And when I start it, it builds up quickly. Now, watch when I click, when I drag this to the right, which is going to essentially make the changes, the initial change slow, right? So it's accelerating. Watch this. 
See how long it takes. Now watch this. Okay. Whew. Guys, there's so much you can do with this plugin. It's actually, to me, it's so cool to have because we've had other plugins that you have to download, buy, whatever have you. This is just right here, built directly in FL Studio Mobile. So, so impressive. Okay, let's look at stop time now as well. So let's put this uh, warp back to kind of just the, the, the uh, you know, mid slope, let's just say. Stop time, same deal with the start time. You've got your slider here. So the slider to the right of this right tape wheel, tape reel lets you change the time it takes for playback to stop. Simple. So if I extend this very, very late, and remember this right now, remember guys, this is on the master track. So I'm gonna put it at the longest, the latest delay time or stop time, watch this. Five seconds to stop. Woo. Let's put sync on. Let's take sync off. Actually, let's let's reverse this. It's gonna actually stop much uh, faster, but it's gonna start much slower. Here we go. And I'm gonna put this all the way to the right. Watch this. Ooh, come on. Some of your favorite songs start just like that. Now watch this when I stop it. Quick stop. Let's see how it starts. Ooh, look how slow it is. Look, 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 look. Right? Look at that. That is again, that's when you slide the um, the warp to the left, which makes for quicker initial changes. So the buildup is, watch this five seconds, guys. This is a really, <laughs> really complicated example, but whew, this this plugin is so crazy. I think it's got really, really good, good uses for songs. Um, also great uses for intros of songs and maybe even just using it for some cool effects. Guys, what I recommend is this, quick couple of things, okay? Again, quickly again, stop time, sync. When sync is engaged, same deal. You're going to adjust the stop and start time, both of them. Now, I want you guys to try this out. Let's try to automate something. Okay, here we go, let's automate. Let's try to automate that, okay? And let's press play. <laughs> Look at the automation. Okay, I'm gonna automate a little bit more. Actually, I'll automate this one right down here. Here we go, let's automate this one. Okay, let's do a couple of quick changes so we get some interesting. Okay, we're gonna do some automation. I'm doing some automation recording quickly, quick records. Ooh, okay, here we go. Let's play it back and look at what we have. <laughs> look at all the automation I recorded down here. Let's listen back. Actually, let's move this one, why not? See that? I'm gonna paste it a couple times. See what I mean, guys? That is all automation. Let's zoom in a bit. I'm gonna slide these back just so that we can get them actually happening a little earlier. It's no big deal. Let's slide them back just a bit earlier. See? That's automated controls, guys. So you definitely want to automate this for your tunes, guys. I'm excited to hear what you guys have in mind. I'm excited to hear whatever you guys are gonna be producing with this plugin. So again, automate tape stop for some well-timed effects and some movement in your tunes, guys. It's about probably the best way, essentially, to get precise control of the effects timing. Guys, again, winning with blends? Join the community and share your tunes with us. We'd love to hear them, of course. Let's collaborate, why not, right? And I also want you to watch this video on rhythmic effects, and I will definitely catch you guys in the next one.